I hate to admit this, but it is 1000% worth it for us to have an expensive, fancy coffee machine. That's all. Steven loves his good old fashioned drip brew coffee machine. Well, we got the Moga Master because I hated the look of the drip brew coffee machine that Steven used. It was like your Mr. Coffee typical nonsense on the counter and so I would like stuff it away throughout the week because he only makes coffee on the weekends. He would make coffee at work. But Monday through Friday I had to look at that thing. So we got the Mocha Master because A, it's beautiful and B, because it makes great coffee. A good friend of ours, they have a Mocha Master and they said it's the best coffee they have ever had and they don't go out for coffee anymore. Like, so I was like, we need to probably look into this because you love your drip brew coffee and if I can get something that makes great coffee, then I can just have it chilling overnight because I hate the feeling of being out of coffee. Like when I run out of my cold brew, that's the worst feeling. So I wanted to be able to make the coffee at home and we got a Mocha Master, 1000% worth it, 1000% worth it. Steven said the other morning, this is the best cup of coffee I've ever had. And he made it from the Mocha Master. We have a burr grinder as well, so we do grind the beans. Steven loves his hot coffee, but I love my cold brew. This still works. So what I do is I'll brew the ratio of one tablespoon of grounds to one cup of water. And I'll do 10 cups of water, so 10 tablespoons of grounds. And then I brew it all, I store it in mason jars, and then the next morning it's ready to get shooketh. <laughs> and then pour it over ice. This is my go-to almond milk choice, the Calipia Unsweetened Vanilla. I know that I could make my own and it would be far less filled with questionable ingredients, but you know what? The convenience is my thing, it's my jam. And I kid you not, this is the best. It's so good, it tastes even better than the coffee that I used to buy, purchase. So yes, it, it kind of hurts me a little bit to, to admit this, but it is 100% worth it to spend a little more money on a coffee machine that's going to last you a long time. I feel like some kitchen appliances are totally, totally worth it. Like we have a Vitamix blender and it makes everything taste somehow like ice cream. Like it just gives that perfect consistency that it's just so above and beyond. When I go somewhere else, like when we travel and I use other blenders, I'm like, mm, no, mm -mm. like I don't like it. <laughs> so yes, uh, coffee, good coffee machines, 100% worth it. I will link ours in the description box below. Um, but let me know your thoughts on this. Would you rather like buy coffee that you know you're gonna enjoy or spend a little more upfront, be able to make it every day. I would love to know your thoughts. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed, it's, it's the best. Mm. And also get yourself some beautiful glass straws. These are wonderful. I just pop these in the dishwasher and you can reuse them. So what I do when I start a collection is I write down a bunch of words that I feel like capture the essence of the story that I want to tell. And then I sketch out just a bunch of different pattern ideas. The words I've written down are elevated, natural, clean, ethereal, playful, confident, timeless, heirloom, generational, this is a fun step because it's like you total clean slate. You get to totally dream. <laughs> I just, I just had a moment. <laughs> you know how sometimes you see like people who've maybe had a little too much to drink and when they have a straw, they be like, I totally just did that. 
I found it that time. <laughs> I don't want to toot my own horn, but a tootly toot because I just put together the cutest outfit for painting, complete with my grace and grandeur bow at the top. I love this. I think this is gonna be my new go-to hairstyle when I'm painting because I just want my hair out of my face. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with it. I, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with it. And it's just so cute with the collar poking out. I made myself lunch. This is a strawberry smoothie with vanilla protein powder by Vital Proteins. It's really good. And I'm gonna get painting. Back at it. I just had to pop on and show you how cute. We're going to get Steven's favorite cannoli at Pala. <laughs> Well, hello again. I painted this entire day, <laughs> except for dinner and um, gelato slash cannoli tonight. Yeah, I painted the whole day, but I got so much done. I am so excited to show you guys the patterns that are gonna come from this work. Anyway, my nightly routine as of now, and it is evolving, and I'm trying to incorporate much more of my actives into my skincare routine. But first and foremost, remember, hot water ages our skin. So make sure you're using mostly cold water, like a little bit of the hot tap on, but mostly cold. And I take off all my makeup with a face halo. This thing is amazing. I get them on Amazon. Um, you could get them wherever you like. You just pop them in the washer every few days or so. And I, I actually wash them by themselves. I don't do anything else with this. Since this goes on my face, I just feel like it's cleaner. <laughs> I remove all my makeup with that face halo. <laughs> One eyebrow gone, one to go. <laughs> the next step is my favorite botanical bee cleanser. Okay, now this is the part when I'm going to blast my body. <laughs> Let me explain. I have been doing this for about a week consistently. No more tension headaches. My neck is slimmer. My jaw is more relaxed. And so what I'm gonna show you is how I face blast my whole self. <laughs> what I would suggest if you do decide to go with Ashley Black, if you do get tension headaches, highly recommend. It's so easy. Every night after the shower, you can even do it in the shower as well. What I recommend is a small claw for your facial stuff and your scalp and your neck. Then you also need a medium sized claw. This is amazing for the chest and the arms. And I'm gonna ta I'm gonna change and show you what it looks like when I do this because I'm gonna apply some oil. But I would highly recommend this mini because it's best for the arms because then you get into your bigger paddles, which I keep in the shower. <laughs> this beauty is responsible for helping my hip dips disappear. You heard me right. And helping the cellulite that I started to see on my abs. So I do this in the shower. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I do this. And I do this every night. Like this is, at, this is, we're in this baby. I'm too obsessed with the results. <laughs> this is my favorite little nightgown from Nordstrom. I thought, I don't know if they still carry it. It's by Room Service. I love Room Service PJs. Okay, anyway, gonna start with the scalp. I don't need oil for this part, but. And then this is the part when I'll put my hair up, the blaster oil. All of these are areas you need to hit. Your arms, your shoulders, down to your hands. And believe me, after a day of painting, this feels 
incredible when I get down to my hands and my fingers. It's the best. And the redness is awesome. That is what we want. We want the new blood rushing. Like, I know this is so wild, but like, I'm obsessed with it now and I do it every night. And what's so wild to me about it is I've never done anything like this weird and then it just work so quickly. The jaw feels incredible because I do clench and that has just been an incredible source of headaches for years. But again, you're manipulating the fascia of your skin to be smoother. And also the reason I'm such a believer in this is because fascia and the natural progression of how our fascia ages is responsible for our collagen loss. It's like responsible for so many things. It is the foundation on which our skin is built, our fascia. So by doing this just for like 10 minutes a night, it is something to add into your routine as well. Like that is something to consider, but you know, and it does take consistency. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and say, you just do it one time and you never have to do it again. No, anything in life takes consistency. Putting on sunscreen takes consistency. Um, and doing this, just like the, the results are just too good. All of these little areas around the jawline, I'm running over and they're like, oh, thank God. We thought you forgot about us. <laughs> This head is just to get to the deeper areas that you really want to work at. This has saved my under eyes. If you look at the muscle surrounding the eye, it literally makes an O around your eyes. So doing this at the brow has been so amazing. And then the lips, this is the, this is the one for me that has been the most transformative. So basically you wanna have enough pressure to go just beneath the skin. I'm not pressing too hard. Oh, I can hear it. it's, it's raining. We have a little summer storm. I like to get back there where your trapezoid meets the back of your neck muscle. And then I come in with the mini too. This is probably the best part. This is the best part. I know I say that about all of it, but it is like getting a massage every day. So I'll start off on the chest with the small claw to just warm it up. This connection is an area that I really feel like holds so much, the shoulder to like the, the chest where that connects. I like to give my collarbone a little love too. It's so good. It is so good. Especially if you're painting all day, you get palm of your hand. This is really the kicker when it comes to not having any more migraines or headaches. You gotta release all the way down. And then I get the tiny claw because that goes around the finger. NFL masseuses use this, NFL players use this, Kardashians use this. Like Kardashians are gonna use it for cellulite, but the NFL players, they're using it because it's literally helping their muscles, their musculoskeletal system. So both and, that's why I love this. That's why I spend the time to do this every day. This feels so good. <sighs> Y'all don't even know. I've painted all day. The I love a good summer storm. So then after I blast, I come in with my active ingredient, retinol. This is by Obagi. I am easing myself into this. So what I do is I apply retinol on my forehead and then under my eyes. So it's, it's both, it's forehead, under eyes. And then because I'm still getting used to retinol, I'm not gonna use my strong retinol on my neck and chest. I use, I use this one on my neck and my decollete. What's really important to me is that I'm working on my skin beneath the surface and then active ingredients. But let me know in the comments, what are your favorite skincare essentials? Are you using any active ingredients? And if so, 
Which ones have been the best for you? I'd love to know. Good morning, gorgeous. Today we are heading to Stephen's family. So it's a little early. Um, it is our nephew, our miracle nephew's first birthday. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see him. He's like got the cutest little personality. I wanted to show you my little look before we go. Okay, this is what I'm wearing. This is literally a sleep shirt that I just belted. Is this, I think this is adorable. I mean, I think this is so cute. <laughs> it's a sleep shirt. I think it's fitting though, because we're leaving kind of early. Just dressed up a little sleep shirt. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing to the birthday party. <laughs> I've got the most beautiful shade of green tea this morning. I love this green tea, it's with matcha. Then I've got the Lisi Lurch Raffia Studs. I adore these. Oh my goodness. My face is quite shiny. I have a little bit of SPF on and it's still like absorbing. <laughs> but um, I'm so excited to see everybody. We're about to go. I just came back to the happiest happy mail. <gasps> New Coastal Brahmin! Okay, I cannot wait to try her on. This is a really gorgeous shirt dress with a, oh my god, all her stuff is so thin. Perfect for summer. Let's try it on. Um, okay, wow. Okay, I'm gonna slip my shoes on. Look how scrum diddly umptious this is. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh. My goodness, so this is without any belts at all. Oh, this is amazing. It comes with a little slip, a nice little linen slip to wear underneath. So sorry about the light, the sun's starting to go down. This is what it came with as a sash, which is so cute. So you could do this. Oh my gosh, this pattern and this fabric. Oh my, I love, her stuff is made so so you could do this. Oh, I love the slips. It comes with on either side. Or you could do something that I generally prefer to do, which is get a belt that has a little bit different of a color so you have that contrast. So you could either do a really beautiful white linen belt or you could do a brown. I just feel like having a different color belt sometimes breaks it up and gives you the effect you're looking for when you want to really cinch it in. So, oh my gosh, this is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, I wanna wear this all day. One more unboxing to do with you. I'm so excited to unbox this new package from, from the only nail polish company I will ever use, Doctor's Remedy. Have they sent? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, listen to these ingredients. This is why I love them. Kale, biotin, tea tree oil, ginseng extract. It's my tried and true. In my Barbie era, I literally have lived in the Barbie era for my whole life. I'm a 90s baby. And this is the best nail polish ever. But I'm excited to try this treatment. So I think this is their, this is the two-in-one glaze. They are truly the best. Thank you, Doctor's Remedy. 